Alhamdulillah Huwa ta'ala al-hayu al-qayru Qaddara tahtana al-madina al-munawara al-makanan Lada al-muslimin Fa'ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ahdahu la sharika la Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh Sallallahu wa sallam alihi Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Wa ba'd والوان كتبة الجمعة ليومنا هذا بيان أن المجتمع المدينة أيام الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم قد جسد لنا العمل الجماعي The Press of Commendation is due to Almighty Allah He has decreed مدينة to occupy a place in Islam in the hearts of Muslims. I therefore testify that there is no God. The suffering was he better lie low, but he has no partner. I also testify that Muhammad is servant of Allah and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Almighty Allah continue to bestow much of his benediction and peace upon him, upon his household and companions all together. Amen. The title of today's summer is to explain that Medina gave Muslims a concrete form to teamwork since the era of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Medina is the place to where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated. Before its migration, that city was known as Yesli. With his migration to the city, the city consolidated the true and genuine love among the Muslims as well as teamwork befitting them. It was the love of Islam that made those who migrated to Medina to do so. Notwithstanding that migration was not easy for them. On reaching Medina, the aborigines of that city welcomed them. And that is why Almighty Allah commended the aborigines of Medina as we have it in Surah Al-Hashir, Quran chapter 59, verse 9, where Almighty Allah says, وَالْيَدِينَ تَقَوَّهُ دَارَ وَالْإِيمَانَ مِنْ قَبُلِهِمْ يُحِبُّونَ مَنْ هَاجَرَ يَهِمْ That those who happen to have inhabited it, the homes of Medina and also embraced Islam in that city before the emigrants joined them, loved those who migrated to them. Both the emigrants and the helpers, helpers known as Ansar, emigrants known as Muhajiru. All of them cooperated on building the mosque of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in Medina. Why building the mosque? They were chanting this statement. If we sat down, why the prophet 
what that would be the worst thing on our part. As they were chanting, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to reply them. Although Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala did not teach him how to chant psalms. But he repeated part of what those Sahaba were saying that Allahumma la khaira illa khair al akhira. Oh Allah, there is no reward but that of the hereafter. Fan suril ansar wal muhajira. Therefore, help the ansar and the muhajirun. This hadith has been reported by both Imam Bukhari in number 4,100 and Imam Muslim in number 1,805 on the authority of Anas bin Malik. I therefore call upon you, servants of Allah, to know that Allah is the one who has Allah for the reason of the telling. Those are the people rightly guided. Therefore, you are, you are to emulate their actions by always adhering to team works among yourselves. And to know that if your deeds are void of sincerity, genuine purpose, sincere and true intention, and good follow up for whatever you are doing, you will not be able to benefit from what Almighty Allah says in Surah Al Nisa, verse 114. While blaming some other people that, La Fayra Bikafiri Min Natuahum, there is nothing good in many of their gatherings. Illa man. إلا من أمر بصدى قتل أو معروف أو إصلاح بين الناس except anyone who makes up his mind to enjoy صدى to enjoy good thing as well as to always enjoy reconciliation among people you should fear Allah in this country known as Nigeria. And to know that the culture which Islam has planted right from the beginning of our community with the migration of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to Medina, that culture assembled the Jews and Arabs. The Jews migrated to that place when Jerusalem was invaded by the Romans who governed it. And from year 70, in the Gregorian calendar, which King Titus invaded the city and subsequent invasions by all other kings, the Jews migrated to Medina. <coughs> Not all of them, but some of them. Three tribes among them. Nadir, they resided in Medina and then they were joined by some Arabs from Yemen. Two tribes from those ones, Aos and Hazraj. Both the Jews and Arabs 
were quarreling with one another. Just as the Jews were trying to always divide the other so that they could rule them. Until Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam emerged. And Islam had a positive influence with the treaty of good neighborhood introduced by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For the social relations among all the inhabitants of Medina by then. If Prophet Muhammad Sadr has done that, we should all know that in this world, Allah has created all of us to live together. Whether you are Muslims or non-Muslims, you should try to be in good relations among yourselves. You have to be your brother's keeper, wherever you find yourself. I say this hoping that you and I will benefit from the little that we have told you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
because good faith is the true wealth of Muslims wherever they are. Instead of the tribal and ethnic links people are artificially establishing for themselves. It was with that that what we know today as Umawahid, simple Umar, came into being in the very hands of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi in Medina. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi prayed for that city, asking Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to bless it, saying, Allah Mabarik Lana Afi Medina Tina. Oh Allah, food blessing in our city for us as reported by one Muslim in number 1374 on the authority of Abu Sayyid and Kudere. With that, Medina became a sanctuary and haram like Mecca. And those who visit it are not allowed to harm wild animals. They are not allowed to cut down the trees of Medina, they are not allowed to introduce anything that can breach the harmony and the coexistence of human beings. And you, people of Nigeria, especially you Muslims, what do you understand when the way that Allah says, in the man of Medina, is what? That people of the same faith should regard themselves as brethren in Allah, as in verse 10 of Surah Al-Qurat, chapter 49. What do you understand here? Or what do you always understand from the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described his apostle? In Surah Al-Qalam, Quran, chapter 68, in the very first part, it's وَإِنَّ كَلَعَلَى كُلُّكِنْ عَذِيمٍ that you, Muhammad, you are actually on a very exalted standard of conduct. Why can't we try to be like Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who knows to apply what is received from Allah, the way he quickly established Two brotherhood, Murahad, among the Ansar and the Muhajiri. Whenever someone migrated to Medina, the Prophet used to call on one of the aborigines of Medina and say, This is your brother. So you are to be sharing everything with him. And that was the way that those who migrated were able to overcome the problems facing them. You learn what occurred between Saad who happened to be an Ansari and Abdurrahman who happened to be an emigrant. When Saad told his emigrant brother Saad told Abdurrahman Rahman Munao In the Himalayas I have a property Fahuwa Bezi wa Bayna Kashafara it should be half half between you and I. While in Muradani, I also have two wives. Man to Raya Umaham Rilega Ma'ana Uto Anbikuha. Look at any of them that admires you so that I can divorce her. By the Allah's mother's wife her. When she finishes her Aida to marry her as the own wife. But Abraham replied his brother, 
Barak Allah ulaka fi ahdi wa mali. May Allah bless your property and uh, your family for you. The Lord and the Sook. Refer me to your market. Where is your market here in this city? After I'm not going out, where is your market? He started by buying little things and selling. Buy little things and selling until he became a great merchant and one of the richest Sahaba in Medina. He married. When he married, he married a, a lady from the Ansar. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told him, Barakallahu Lati, may Allah put blessings for you. You have done well. Aulim Walao Bisha. Now what you have to do is to do a Walima, Walima to the car. Even if it is an ordinary ship that you have to spot her and let people eat with you to rejoice with you, to celebrate. That is Hadith reported by Imam Bukhari in number 3781, 5155. On the authority of Anas, first Imam Muslim reported it in number 1427 on the authority of Abu Sa'id al that, is, that was how our ancestors used to treat each other. That was how they used to interact. And that is the same way that you are to be interacting. When someone respects you, you should also reciprocally respect him. Let's forget to say some of our was in to bestow month of his benediction and peace upon his messenger and all of his companions. Amen. 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 Rise up. Let us observe our.